from 2013. ALP having a crisis of honesty, the election is over, so the ALP can say what they think and feel. Apparently, Gillard, who didn't want Abbott to win, didn't want Rudd to win either. Rudd wanted to win, but didn't expect to, and wouldn't change policies to make the ALP more effective. Shorten can change leaders as easily as his mind, just can't see the point in changing anything because the voters expect ALP to be incompetent and dangerous, and that is what the voters voted for if they voted ALP. Some of the ALP's most effective ministers were, in fact, journalists paid to be independent. While they could always be relied on to spread their meme most favorable for the ALP, they are now confused by conservative policy and don't know how to evaluate the performance of the first 50 days, but believe the ALP were right to jump over a cliff for the NBN, AGW belief, mining tax, and general murderous incompetence. The new ALP deputy believes she is a woman when she once believed she was as good as any man. Penny Wong now believes that debt is bad for government. Conroy now believes that the NBN was badly conceived, but the press should be restricted from reporting it. Nick Champion voted with Greens on every issue before the election and would be still, but the ALP lost and he now says it was not such a good idea to be linked with Greens. Roxon agreed that Rudd was a bastard and should never have been leader, although he had her full support as PM. Bad ALP administration has resulted in corruption of academic progress and schooling. Not merely the calls to lie about global warming and bushfires from senior administration, but the very act of teaching and learning reading has been corrupted by a fad. Average and exceptional children with excellent home support may progress normally with whole word reading, but there is a substantial number of children who don't, and they need a technique for attacking words which current educational standards don't cater for, as evidenced by the substantial number of children graduating from high school illiterate unable to write a sentence or a letter or read an administrative form requiring their birth date and signature. Of course, abysmal left-wing preaching permeates the courses in all key learning areas. That's it for today. If you come by this video at a later date and you like it, like it! Also, feel free to comment and share. Spread the love. Be well.